Okay, so we're at the site right now, uh, in the middle of the site basically. The site has two, um, two uh, portions, uh, west and uh, east, so we are now on the west side. Uh, so these are the structures that you see on the right side. Uh, the, the, the closest to us is number five. Uh, so the, the stations, they have two inverters located on them and one transformer. So what they do? So you can see the panels all around it. Uh, they are connected by cables that go underground to those stations. And uh, the power that is generated by, by the panels is DC. So at those stations, this DC power is converted to AC, AC power. And then it's also stepped up by, by, by a transformer that you can see there in the middle uh, to make it uh, 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 for the transmission line. From, from those stations, again, other, with the underground cables, the power goes to the major uh, substation on the site. Uh, where the transformer uh, steps it up to 69 kV and from where it goes to the, to the distribution uh, system of, of SDG &E. uh, What you can see well here on the left side, you can see this um, like shaft uh, that go in the middle of each array. These are the trackers. That would allow the trackers to, uh, to move and track the sun. So the, the box there have a small electrical uh, motor that, uh, that moves uh, the, the panel 45 degrees during a day. So the panel can always be in the best position to move. On the right side are the inverters. So each inverter serves uh, 17, uh, uh, 17 uh, uh, arrays of panels. Transformer. This is the great, you know, great equipment. We just 
front of it. Uh, the transformer does a step up of uh, power that comes from the plant uh, from uh, 34.5 kV to uh, 29 kV. That's the transmission uh, line uh, from here to the, to the substation of the TGD. Uh, you can see that all the cabling uh, on the side is underground and the primary reason for it is that uh, it doesn't create, you know, if you have over, overline, if you have uh, you know, poles and lines, it creates shade. So to avoid shade and also, you know, more secure this way, uh, all cables are buried here. And the same goes for the cable that goes from here to the SDG substation that we passed on our way here. If you, if you remember on the right side, there was a substation. So this substation is connected to our substation. And the only section at the substation is a white structure which concludes all the controls and communication equipment for the site. Uh, you can also notice that the, the structure, this structure and the structures of the PCS that we saw uh, are elevated and this is done because this area is actually For 25 years, it's only taken to the actual requirement of the cow to do it this way. So it's the tools to allow water to flow through it. 100 and 2,000 panels. So over 100,000 panels uh, uh, deployed. Uh, the site actually generates more power. That was another question. That the site generates over than 30 megawatt of power, but because of the losses and, you know, uh, transmission losses even within the site and the conversion uh, from DC to, to AC, the actual output is uh, is uh, only 26 megawatt coming out. There is some uh, uh, redundant capacity built in, uh, so the actual nominal capacity of the facility is 27. But because uh, the power pitch agreement that we have and the transmission line uh, limitation, we can only export 26 megawatts from here. Take the run just one house. One house. Uh, <laughs> the question was how many panels you need for, for a house. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, it depends on your consumption. Uh, one panel here generates 320 volt. One array here generates 1.6 megawatt of power. One, one megawatt of power is, is good to uh, to power 1,000 homes. So that's uh, about, you know, the scale. Yeah. Well, how many, how many watts is each pen? Not both. 320, uh, 320 uh, no, the volts, uh, uh, the voltage here is 1.6. Okay, 1.6 volts is 320 is watts, then you're saying. Yeah, 320 watts, yeah. Electricity, obviously, because it's dark. Yeah, yeah, That has already been generated. Does it go to a storage area and shipped on to SDG&E, or what? Yeah, the question was uh, whether the facility has any storage uh, capacity. No, there is no storage here. So during night, the site is completely uh, uh, shut off. Uh, there is some power that is consumed by the communication equipment, which comes from outside. Uh, huh. It's not so, good. Yeah. It happens, so they can't generate it back to you. Uh, can't store it. So they won't wash the panels until a year? You said once a year they wash the panels? Uh, the question about uh, panel washing, yes. So the, the design of the plant uh, uh, assumes uh, washing once a year. So once a year uh, the panels will be washed with uh, water spray. And uh, during the year, just you know, rain or, or wind will keep the conditions of the panels in the way that they can still generate power. Okay. How? How do they wash them? Yeah. Is the panel set flat uh, at night time? Uh, you know what? I don't know the answer. If, uh, I assume yes, but I cannot be sure. How's in, in When the wind is strong, then uh, is the, there is automatic switch that goes into the flat position. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty flat right well, now. Yeah. 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 Twelve o'clock. It should be. They're pretty flat. flat. You can see that it's almost flat now because yeah. we're at midday. So. Yeah. Right. They're going that way. Yeah.